Mr. Speaker, the expenditure for the CBC as it determined is supposed to be 15,000 per kid. Mr. Speaker, this has not been distributed to the schools. It hasn't been distributed in the schools. In actual fact, the release of money is late, meaning that even the impacting of knowledge is going to be dread. Mr. Speaker, this system does not create opportunity for people with special needs. And this is one of the failures of education in this country. We have so many people with uh, special needs out there who are who failed, who are failed by 844, who are failed by the older system. And even this new system, those people with special needs are not being catered for in terms of provision of facilities. So, Mr. Speaker, something is seriously wrong. The management of the CBC is... We are condemning our parents. Many of them are very poor. We are telling them to provide equipment that the government is supposed to be providing. In actual fact, you at the end of the day, you are going to find that parents are the ones that are going to be providing more than the government. 15,000 shillings per kid is not enough. It's not adequate. So you find the burden is going to be borne by the poor parents. Mrs. Speaker, I find this system not working. It is not going to work. It is going to benefit a few who are going through the private uh, 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 institutions. Otherwise, we are going to continue creating disparities. Mr. Speaker, let's, let, let, let's take for example, my constituency has 87 primary schools. Out of 87, 17 have been condemned that they cannot, they cannot host junior secondary. Why? Because they are told they are less than 35. These children are forced to walk for 10 kilometers away from their school. Meaning, the government in its policy has become discriminative because you, cannot, you can imagine a kid walking for 10 kilometers. For 10 kilometers, just because the school has, does not have 35 people in the school. So, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I support the in, uh, uh, activity I mean, I support the motion that has been brought up by Mr. Oluku and say this. It is time. Education is the only thing that is going to uh, bring everybody together. Equality. But with this system, I doubt what it is going to do. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good. Thank you, Don. Member for Kitui South. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker, for giving me this opportunity so that I may also support uh, this extremely important motion brought by the Honorable Ruku. And I would like to first of all congratulate uh, the Honorable Ruku, Honorable Speaker. Having sat in this house for the last 10 years, I have seen him come with very important uh, motions and also prepare himself to support extremely important bills in this house.